Good morning, everyone. My, I have a yellowish tinge to me today. I think it's the light outside. Uh, we had a big uh, snowstorm come through here yesterday. Snow, rain, sleet, whatever. I think it, it we had all the different types of snow yesterday. Um, and it just, well, actually it's still snowing this morning. I think there's still some outer bands coming through and I don't know, that white light is making everything inside here looking so yellow. But good morning, everyone. And today is Casing Tuesday, and that's when we take a card out of one of the Stampin' Up! catalogs and we give it a makeover. Sometimes we change the whole card around, sometimes we copy it exactly. Um, today's card, of course, I usually pretty much always change cards around because that's just what I do. Um, but um, I have to tell you today, I'm going to show you in a second, it's the start of a new, two new bundles, um, the Hey Chick bundle and the Hey Birthday Chick um, bundle. And you may recognize Hey Chick from uh, a previous celebration, but now we have dyes to match with it. And the Hey Birthday Chick step set in the Jan to June, January to June mini catalog has also a die set now um, and those can be purchased starting as of today so if you're wanting to know more um, make sure you click over to my blog the link is down below um, and then the banner right up at the very top of my blog post will take you over to all the products um, but I'll talk about them in just a minute and I will show them to you so that will be uh, really cool um, and uh, I love both of them because you can create some really cool scenes with them um, and use the birds all together and they're just really fun and you know me I've probably said it many times before I love cute animal stamps and these are definitely cute animal stamps so let me show you today's card um, that we are copying it is this card and uh, on first inspection, you might think, whoa, uh, I can't really see all the different layers. Well, we broke them down for you in a second. I'll show you the sketch. But for me, um, I ended up deleting that vellum square. It's kind of a square, not quite a square, um, that is kind of behind the circles. I didn't really need it for my card. It was kind of a distraction. So that one got ditched. So you can do things like that. Like you can change the orientation from landscape to portrait. You can delete a layer, add a layer. You know, we're I, what I've tried to do though with my card is I try to kind of keep the essence of the original. So you will definitely see the essence of the original in the card if you look by both of them, but you will also see some differences. So here is the sketch. If you want to have the measurements for the layers, it's always helpful. Um, what I like to do is I like to cut myself these layers and kind of work with them and see what fits um, before I decide on which stamp set to use. I, I really wanted to use um, Hey Chick or Hey Birthday Chick today, so I actually kind of made it work for me. Um, but sometimes if I'm not set on a particular stamp set, I kind of have a look through my collection and see what works best with the sketch. Because some sketches lend themselves better to certain images than others. So there's the measurements. And you can find those images also on my blog. And if you join our Casing Tuesday Facebook group, they are all on there. So you can always grab them from there as well if you want to play along. And I hope you do because this really is a good exercise. I love it each week because it gives me a starting point. Um, a lot of us are really, really busy, right? And when you're busy, it's it's difficult to come out of, uh, to make a card just right out of your head. You know, you might have an idea, but it's kind of hard to get all the different things um, on the card. So it's a good exercise because now when you're looking through the catalog, you're going to be thinking, oh, I like that card layout. Let me save that for later and um, I'm gonna make a different card out of it. So it's actually really useful um, because our cards, my card today doesn't look exactly like the original you know if i didn't put them side by side and show you how how it 
how it changed, people would think it was a completely original card. So it's kind of neat to be able to have that starting point and create a completely new card with it. So good morning to everyone who's joined me this morning. Good morning, Lisa, Mary, Amy, Dee, and Marcy. So glad you're here. I will pop back on the comments later on and, and see if you have any questions for me. And um, I wanna get started now. And I'm gonna pop over to my other camera. So here's the card that I created. Isn't it fun? Dancing chickens. I love it. And you can see I kept the circles. Oh, my phone is ringing. Um, I'm just gonna decline that. If it was someone that needed me, I hope they call back. Unfortunately, my phone also rings on my laptop, so that's kind of um, hard uh, when that happens. Maybe next time I'll just click off once on my phone. I'm so bad at answering phones when I'm bad with call waiting and all of those other options. They just like, I can't deal. But anyway, you can see the circle um, that was in the, the main part of the card and you can see the rectangle. And I just left out the square because I kind of wanted to uh, create a little bit of a barnyard scene. The circle kind of turns into sunshine, right? Um, and you can see a little bit of paper um, peeking out. This paper um, in the background, you can only get right now um, if you get the starter kit because you get five packs of paper for free. So um, it's some Bumblebee um, from the 2020-2022 in color uh, collection of the paper. Um, but you could also just use a regular Bumblebee circle, but I kind of like the little checks in the background of that sunshine. So I'm gonna show you how I made this card. And um, let me just talk about the Hey Birthday Chick bundle. So you can buy this as a bundle. You can buy the die separately. You can buy the stamp set separately. But as always, when you um, buy a bundle, you can save 10%. So that's always a nice thing. And then you'll recognize Hey Chuck if you've been around for a while. And this was a celebration offering um, a while back and um, uh, a few years ago, and it was very, very popular. And so they brought it back with some dies. So now you can purchase Hey Chick if you don't already have it. You may have it in your collection. It's the same as it was before. So if you just wanna get the die set, you can get the die set. Look at the little uh, chicken coop, and we've got some chicken wire and some corn. It's really cute because both of these sets, die sets together have some, you know, we have a fence pose. I love this happy birthday. So they're, they're kind of nice to get together and use together. All right, let's start off with stamping. I'm going to take the two chickens I'm going to use and I'm going to stamp them in Memento ink and then I'm gonna die cut them. Let me stamp them on here. I um, took this, um, this was the scrap I cut the original out of, but it was big enough so that I could stamp some more on here. Let me set these aside. And I'm gonna bring in my I'm lifting up my my machine here crank this through and I'm gonna grab my dies because I need these cut out and I always like to cut them out first it's easier to color them when they're not cut out but if I make a mistake and I don't cut these out right if they shift um, I'm gonna cut them one at a time because sometimes I find it's harder to get them both lined up perfectly um, So I'm just gonna run this one through. Um, so I like to cut them first and then color because if I make a mistake with cutting, I, I get kind of annoyed if I spent all that time coloring something to perfection and then it, I, I, it shifted and die cut. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to do my little chickadee. Chickadee dee dee. Okay, here he is. I love that all of these little images have dyes to match. 
Okay. All right. Let me plop that down and run that through. So I've got some other die cutting to do, but I kind of pre-die cut everything else. So I'll just show you which dies I used in a moment when we get to the next part of the card. Okay, so come here my little chickens and let me do some coloring. So I'm going to use, this is, no, I need soap saffron dark. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to color. So saffron dark is not very dark at all. So saffron is a very, um, very light yellow. So basically what I'm doing is I'm coloring. I'm just gonna color a portion of this chicken. I'm gonna leave a white spot, but it's a very, very, light yellow and um, I didn't I wanted this guy to be almost white and then I'm going to color the shell just to give a little bit of a contrast okay and then I'll come in poppy parade light and I'm going to do the is this called the wattle the part that comes down and I'm going to do the comb and I'm going to do the birthday hat. Okay, and then I'm going to do, this is um, pumpkin pie dark. Do the beak here. I'll do the little chick's feet. And I'll do the little beak. And then last but not least, I'm going to do uh, Daffodil Delight. <clears throat> And I'm going to color this little guy, what we can see of his little head and wings. I think this is just adorable, like really, really cute. So cute, right? Okay, and that's all there is to it. That's all the coloring that I did for these two guys. All right, I think we can bring in... Um, Let's bring in all the die cuts. So I'll show you what I did with the die cuts. So I did use the layering circles dies and I use the second largest scallop and the third largest circle. And I cut this um, scallop is just out of Bumblebee and this one's under the out of the in color designer series paper. This one's in the starter kit. There is one still available in the annual catalog, the old patterns, but you won't get this check pattern. I really like the check pattern. Um, and then a um, couple more things that I cut out. I cut out two of the fence posts and this is in the Hey Birthday Chick um, dies. So today I only used um, the um, Hey birthday chick dies. I did not use the hey chick dies today. So I did this and I did this out of the happy birthday. I, <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. I love words and I think this is the perfect happy birthday. I would probably have gotten the dies just to get this happy birthday die cut on its own because it's like the perfect size for cards. So um, that's kind of cool. There's some other, there's a little flower sack. There's some little hay um, embossing you can do. There's a little standalone chick here too. And then the dies, of course, to cut out each of the birds. Okay, so that's what I did. I did two of the fence posts, one happy birthday, and the, the sunshine out of the circles. So let me move these out of the side. And then I created a card base. This one is uh, started off as eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored in half at the four and a quarter inch mark. And then I took a piece of balmy blue, uh, kind of to create a sky background. And this one measures four and three quarters by three and a half. So 
start off with, I'm going to glue this piece down. And this one on the original card, it was a little bit towards the right hand corner. So I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch from the right side and a quarter of an inch from the bottom and then just kind of glue that down. And I need to bring in my sample card here so I kind of get an idea of how to bring all of this together. Next, I wanted to glue the sun. So let's glue the two sun pieces together. And I'm gonna glue this my phones are just ringing today, aren't they? <laughs> okay, I'll have to deal with that later. It's probably spam. Okay, I'm gluing this an eighth of an inch from the right and an eighth of an inch from the top. Okay, and then I'm going to glue these on here too, but I need to take I need to take um, this little piece off at the side because I kind of want this to be the end fence post. So I'm just going to cut off that like that. So, um, and then I'm just going to arrange these on here, down here at the bottom. So let's do that. And you can um, put as many of these together as you like to create as long of a fence post as you like, right? So I'm just adding these. This will, this kind of looks like the top of the fence posts. Kind of works perfectly. Okay kind of can see my little scene coming together. And then this guy is going to come on here. Yeah, I think I'll put him here. Or here. No, or here. It's going here. Okay. Just his little tippy toe is kind of on the end right there. And then we're going to add the happy birthday up here. And then my little chick, he's, oh, I want to add him with a dimensional. Yeah, this little guy gets a dimensional. So just one of these regular ones will fit in the center. And then we'll peel this guy off. And he's going to have his little tippy toe right on there. So cute, right? I love this. And then... I'm going to add, this is the Playful Pets trim. It comes with this black and white baker's twine and this red uh, gingham. I was debating whether or not to do the red gingham bow, but I decided to go with um, the black and white one in the end. So, I mean, this makes a really cute bow as well. So I really like that ribbon pack if you've been debating on getting that. That's actually in the annual catalog. And then I'm going to stick, let me see which side I like better, this side. I'm gonna put this right on a mini glue dot. <clears throat> and you probably can't see this, but my mini glue dot is a little bit bigger than the knot. So I kind of scrunch up the mini glue dot behind the knot and then I pick it off and then I'm going to put this up here like that. Just to add like a little bit of uh, an exclamation mark to the card, right? Just a little bit. So there are the cards that I made. Aren't they super cute? I just love them. Just so much fun. 
uh, to have those little chickens dancing. I don't know. It made me happy yesterday when I was working on the car, just the bright colors, because right now uh, it's so white outside. There's like no green, there's no blue, there's like no color outside. It's like whites and grays and browns. And <laughs> blue, yellow, and red are really high energy colors and they made me very, very happy yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know how, we, how where you live, but um, in New England this time of year, February surprisingly is one of the most dreary months in New England. New England. February and March, we're, we're in, into the most dreary times. Um, there, the nice thing about being in February is that you're like, okay, well, we're working towards spring though. So that's the nice thing. But at the same time, these months, these two months, February and March can seem rather long because it's just like really dreary and the colors are just not there. So colors in the craft room have to come out right so that's what i'm doing bringing some colors to me okay i'm gonna go back and have a little chat with you guys and see if there's anything i already said good morning to some people good morning beverly marcy asked a question how did you get the paper from the starter kit emma demo and can't find anything about ordering that paper would love to get some to show my, I'm assuming, customers. Um, well, Marcy, so what happened for demonstrators is we were allowed to pre-order it in January and then after, sorry, pre-order it in December. And after December, there was, we could no longer order it. Now it's only available on the starter kit. So um, I guess the best thing you can do is like, you know, explain to them that it's um, kind of the same color groupings as are in the annual ca catalog paper. Um, similar configuration, it's just different patterns. And the other thing I would maybe do is um, go to the demo demonstrator website and see if you can pick up some images from there that you can use and show because right now it, you cannot get it anymore. Sorry. Um, but that's, if you're looking for pre-order stuff, Stampin' Up! really does it the same way um, each year. So we always, as demonstrators, we get to pre-order stuff. It's so cool. Um, we get to pre-order before customers and we get to pre-order stuff like things that would be on the starter kit um, because we can't get it um, and we're already demonstrators, we can pre-order it. So um, <clears throat> right now we're having a starter kit special and that paper is in the special. If you get the starter kit, then our annual catalog is coming out in May. It's beginning beginning of May. And we're gonna be able to pre-order from that annual catalog in April. So it's just another little perk of, of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, but you have to like know about it. And, uh, but it, it is really the same kind of each time, the same sort of pattern. The month before you need to kind of um, be looped in, um, maybe your um, uh, team leader um, sends out emails. Like I try and send out emails to my team and let them know that these things are coming up so that they can grab them. Like today, later on, I'm going to send my team uh, an email about we have a new bundle coming out that will be available to customers next month, but demonstrators can pre-order it this month and that starts today. So I haven't sent out that email yet, but that's on my to-do list for today to send that out. That was a long explanation, wasn't it, Marcy? But um, I hope that helped a little bit. Um, <clears throat> Teresa says she's watching with her granddaughter, Abigail. She's six. Hi, Abigail. It's nice to see you and um, so glad that you could join um, me this morning. You know, this is such a fun card, isn't it? The chickens. I love it. This one's a really fun one to play with, like all the different elements in it, all the little die cuts, the little chicken coop and the fence and all of that. It will be a fun one to work with with your granddaughter. Very cute. Um, so, um, Amy asks, very cute, when do you use glue? When do you use tape? How do you decide? Okay, 
Most often I use glue. I love glue. It really holds well. And because I'm a, a lot, I'm a 3D artist. Um, I, and I do pop-ups and that glue is going to stick. There are some exceptions. If you are using glossy paper, um, glue does not stick to really glossiness that well, like so window sheets. So if I'm using window sheets um, and anything that ha is like kind of shimmery, then I'll switch to tear and tape. Um, if I'm popping something up, I'll use a dimensional. If I'm using like this is a, a little slightly heavier baker's twine. So um, and it's a little stiffer than our other baker's twine like <clears throat> we have two baker's twine collections right now from the mini catalog. I would actually use glue with those put a little glue where I was going to stick the knot of the bow and I would use that to attach. This one though it's a little heavier so I used a mini glue dot. So that's when I use a mini glue dot. But pretty much I use glue. I really like it. Um, I do go through bottles, but it is, for price-wise, it's awesome. And it sticks, like nothing is gonna fall off my card. Like um, I had a card that someone sent me, a Christmas card, and I had it hanging up, and one layer just like dropped off. To be fair, it was over top of a heater and adhesive, that's like a runner type adhesive or Terran type adhesive. If it gets heated up, um, the stickiness becomes less effective. And I found that out pretty early on when I was designing my Hershey's designs because there's a lot of pull on the designs um, with the weight of the kisses and stuff. Um, so I would have like, I first noticed this with my Hershey's baby carriage because that one has a lot of pull on it and I had done them with tear and tape originally and um, about three weeks in they started to like come apart and I was like wow you know I thought tear and tape was like a really good adhesive it is for certain things but not for 3d designs and so I switched to Tombow and now they stay together I have designs that I have kept just kind of as, not that I'm going to give them, but I keep them as prototypes um, downstairs in a box so I can refer back to them. And um, they're still together. And I put them together with Tombow. So Tombow really, really is, is a good adhesive. Um, and, I, and I learned this from other demonstrators. I, I watched them and they were using Tombow on cards and stuff. And so I just started to use it and I've been so happy, so happy. Um, I, I love Tombow and I will continue to use it. So there's, there's my answer. Um, I hope that that gives you kind of an overview of, of what I would use for what. Uh, okay, Lisa says, I understand the paper will be available with the new catalog, yes. Absolutely. In May, you can order this paper if you want it. You can. Um, but right now, if you want it, um, it's only available on the starter kit. And the starter kit is an awesome deal. And, you know, $99 for the starter kit. Guess what you get in the starter kit? $125 worth of product. So it's you're you're only paying $99 for $125 worth of product. That's the start. Then you get the papers, five packs of paper, which is like $57.50 um, in value. And then you, Stampin' Up! also sends you a paper pumpkin, a past paper pumpkin in your kit. So that's like a lot of stuff for only $99. And it ships for free, which on a normal order, you'd have to pay for shipping. Um, and the only other thing you pay is tax and you know, we have to pay tax no matter what. Um, so unless you're in a state that doesn't have tax, so you can, um, uh, $99 plus tax will get you a whole bunch of stuff. So it's a really, really, really good deal. Even if you never do another thing with it, but I hope if you got the starter kit, you would stick around and, uh, be on uh, my team. I love my team. I have 
Amy is on my team and she's here this morning and I think Dee was here too. Flipping back up, Dee is here too. Um, they're on my team and, and I love them because um, with my team, I'm able to do some more things. We have a private Facebook group. We do team stamping nights. We do swaps. We just finished a swap right now and I'm starting, I haven't gotten all my swap cards yet, um, but they are arriving. Um, so we do a lot of fun things uh, with my team. So it's not just about the discount. It's about like kind of a little family, right? So anyway, that's just an aside, sorry. Um, but you can get the paper later on. <laughs> uh, Teresa says she loves the card and the chickens. Ah, thank you, Abigail. I'm so glad you could join us here today. So um, if you're looking for um, anything, all the supplies that I talked about today, you'll find them on my blog. The link is down below. I hope you'll pop over there. Um, for February, I am sending out, anyone who spends $75 with me in February gets the butterfly gems. This is actually just half a pack because I already used half of it. So you get double amount of uh, these butterflies. The reason I chose these butterflies was because next month when I'll be sending these out, we have a new butterfly product coming out. So um, I thought that would be kind of fun to pair the butterflies with the butterflies. So that's what that um, special is gonna be. And we also have celebration going on right now. Um, so for every 50 or $100 you spend, you get to choose a free celebration product. And that is sent out by Stampin' Up, not by me. This is my um, special. And then of course you can choose one of my tutorials for free. Um, and I have um, some exclusive tutorials that are paid tutorials, but if you place an order for me, you can pick one of them for free and then I send it to you via email. It's a PDF tutorial. Okay, that was a lot of talking. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on today with the Hey uh, Chick uh, release and I hope you have a great week. I am planning a chicken project um, for Friday. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I'm gonna take my little chickens and I'm gonna play with them. And on Friday, I will have a project with you. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a fancy fold scenario yet or if I'm gonna do a 3D project. I'm leaning towards the 3D project because um, the chickens are just so fun like to do on a card in general. So I think maybe I'll do a, a 3D, we'll see. I have to get playing. My created creativity just kind of flows. So I, I kind of design, I, I don't really design in advance. Like some people will sit down and design like a whole catalog's worth of projects in one sitting. I don't do that. It's confusing for my brain. So I kind of design on a weekly basis. So that's why I'm like not always very committal as to what I'm gonna show you, but Regardless of what I'm going to show you on Friday, I'm sure you're going to love it because um, it, it usually is something kind of creative and original. So I will be on YouTube on Friday. I'll be doing a live at 10 a.m. Eastern. So I hope you will join me there. All right, guys, I have hope you have a great week. If you have any questions, please send me an email. I have my contact link below um, and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, Teresa says, thank you, Brenda. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Looking forward to Friday. Well, thank you. I hope to see you on Friday live. Take care, guys. Have a great week and bye-bye.